So as I said, I was on the battlefield facing the Gryphon of Anti Germania, my fellow soldiers lying on the ground, begging to be put out of their misery, when suddenly swoosh, a Gryph swooped in on me, carrying me away. Uh huh. We were murdering like savages, he lost control, then fell out of the sky! I barely survived and he crept into the ground, digging his own grave in the process! Uh huh. I took his main pack as a reminder of this most epic fight, which had engraved in it the name Array Forever! Remember! Commander Kevin! Uh huh. Rainbow S! Uh, not another boring war story. Rainbow S! I don't wanna hear it, Nessie. But Rainbow S! I've never even heard of the war you say you were in. Uh, oh, that's because I'm not allowed to talk about it. I, Purple Star, am on a mission to kill Princess Hotplot, thus taking her place. Welcome to the Horse Elite of Raging Doom. For short, welcome to the... Shut up, Herbs. No one likes you. I like her in my pants. My pony is a video. What are we doing here again? We are just me. Come on, guys, please. Welcome to the what? Good. Killed it. Did you guys see last episode's after credit scene? After credit scene? What are we, Marvel? Wake up, Rainbow S! I need some pony to tell the tale to of how I slaughtered an entire army with nothing but a peanut butter sandwich! Uh... Oh, sorry, Nessie. I mean, I would totally love to hear another one of your never-ending stories, but... <laughs> Kevin and me are sorta busy. Kevin? What's up, bruh? He just arrived from Azzy Germania, but he's not the only one who came here today. <laughs> Kevin and me go way back. Kevin? By the way, I was kinda hoping you wouldn't find me in a constantly moving cloud home in the sky, but it's fine. In fact, having you secretly follow us around will make the sweet act of love so much more daring. Kevin? Yeah, so gotta go. But feel free to spy on us. It kinda turns me on. Kevin? Are you sure he's this uh, Commander Kevin you fought in the war? That's just it. There is no way of knowing for sure. But didn't you kill him in battle? You told me just yesterday. That is true. And I thought you weren't listening. Well, I didn't want to admit it, but your story was actually way more engaging than the book I was reading. What book were you reading? I don't know. Something about vampires and werewolves. That sounds exciting! Yeah, I thought so too, but it really wasn't. And what are you reading now? The sequel. I thought you didn't like it. Yeah, I don't, but I bought the whole series, so I kinda have to read them all now to get my money's worth. I really don't see the problem. I love these books. You can't even read Slave. Nope, but I can pretend I'm reading them, and it keeps the ladies coming. Well, speaking of coming... That's what she said! Coming back to your problem... Dethroning 101 clearly states in Chapter 14, the friend of my friend is my enemy... Roll credits! ...that you should never kill an ally's companion without solid proof that they actually are against you. If they're close to a comrade of yours, they technically count as a potential ally themselves. Gee, this book really really has an answer for everything, doesn't it? Of course it does. It's a bestseller. <laughs> but Rainbow S said they go way back. <gasps> what if S joined my army? It's my army. Just to infiltrate my plans! My plans. And aid Commander Kevin and killing the princess before I can! Before I can. Maybe this is all part of a huge revenge operation! Nah, that would be... Huh. Admittedly, that does kinda make sense. But still, you need proof for all that. If I may say something? Shut up, slave. I'm sorry, go on. Do you guys really think Rembrandt would be smart enough to work as a double agent? Maybe she is just pretending. I know from experience that infiltrating a group of ponies while pretending to be some pony else is really easy to pull off if you're a cunning master of disguise and they're idiots. Not to call you an idiot, perps. Gee, thanks, General. Still, there's gotta be another way to deal with this. Say, did you know I was afraid of the sound of whips? <laughs> oh, that would 
explain yesterday. But what does that have to do with this? You might not know this, but before Purple Star took me as her, well, slave, I was under the rule of Princess Hotplot, and whenever I wouldn't do her bidding, she would have her guards crack their whips at me. And that happened a lot, because I don't do what others tell me to do. I'm a rebel, you know. Or maybe it was because you were still an egg. Potato, potato. Anyway, let me tell you, that was the most traumatizing thing to ever happen in my life. Also the first. So, what's your point, little green and purple dragon? After he hatched, I took him with me and replaced him with a plushie. No pony ever even noticed he was missing. And due to my excellent skills as a caretaker, he soon could leave his fear behind him. I agree with Nessie though, what does that have to do with anything? Well, obviously General Witness carries her own scars from the war, and I feel like Commander Kevin is one of them. You know, metamorphosis. You mean metaphorically. Gesundheit. Anywho, what I'm trying to say is, maybe try putting it behind you, get some closure. Talk to Kevin. If you make peace with Rainbow's friend, you might make peace with the war at the same time and your problem solves itself. Yes, that is an excellent idea, slave. Get some closure. Talk to Kevin. This way I can trick him into saying or doing something that will reveal him as the foe he is. And then he'll die. <laughs> Bro, I'm so in the lewd mood, dude. Me too! What could be better than doing it with you? War! Huh? War never changes! Neither do its warriors. Not really into politics, bruh. You know, I once knew the strife from Azijomania. He fought in a war once. I wonder what happened to that guy. You know, ass, dude, bro, I wanna talk with that pink punk. Okay, dude? Just go ahead to pony. No. Yo, bro! I don't like talking about war, dude. Had my fair share of problems already. Dude, ass, bro, hold on. Pony Town's the other way. So you've had enough war, huh? What call were you in? Bro, what you talking about, dude? Shut up! I'm still left all without something to deny my doubt. This guy seems to be much smarter than I thought. He neglects all he knows, but the war instead he shows to be just an innocent pal of Rainbow Ass and not the commander I fought. But I do believe that he is the one, and I won't give up until I'm proven wrong. So what to do? What to do? Must get pop and stuff what's in the mind? I can't just kill him like that. But what if he is? Yes, what if he is? Trying to make me sleep with the fish. Then again, my companion, the Mary Moes, seems to be quite close with the guy. But what if she's in? Perhaps I have been tricked all this time and she's in on the crime. If that's really so, she also must go. It sure would be tragic. Yes, I know. No, what the heck, I can't do that. Let's weigh the options that I have. Option one. I can simply just leave them alone. And maybe befriend Kevin too. And then in the night when I close my eyes, he'll sneak up to me with the deadliest strike. Option two. I could kill them both right on the spot. Or maybe let Rainbow S live. But either way, who is to say I just didn't kill one into innocent souls? Not that I never mind, but then I might find that later they could if she didn't fight. I can decide which it shall be. Is there an option number three? Don't worry, little duckies. I will totally not cook you up and eat you for lunch. Dude, bro, sorry. You okay? Bruh? Can't you see I'm walking here, you bird brain? Bruh, I don't want any beef. Okay, dude, bro? Are you assuming my gender, you fucking hummingbird? Can't you see I'm obviously a mare? Dude, debt, gal. It's just a word, bro. I mean, sis, chill. Don't tell me what to do. I'll tell you what to do. I suggest you go get a life and maybe, just maybe, I will consider not taking it away from you in your sleep. Bro! <laughs> Well, 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 this is giving me quite the idea. Seeing Kevin carrying in under constant ridicule is revealing the wit spot that he has. If he were to be made a joke by me, right in front of the eyes of every pony, 
and just might very fast spill the beans about his past, and then I'll know exactly what to do. Without any doubt, I'll know all about this evil scheme to wipe me out, and with that I'll make my move. I can't wait, let's go, let's humiliate my foe, and if he's not that bad, I'll make him my bro. So, he's from as Germania, I heard. Do you know him? <laughs> that is so racist of you to assume. I'm so proud of your new personality. Happy birthday, Kevin. I hope you like your surprise party. Bruh, how'd you know it's my birthday, dude? No way, it actually is your birthday. I must be psychic. No, you're not. Anyway, come here, Kevin, and give me a nice hoof shake. Dude. <laughs> No, Kevin, you were supposed to shake my hoof and not yourself, stupid partially pale purple gryphy! <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about some lemon drops for our little sourpuss? Dude, bro, lemon drops are best, bruh! <laughs> bruh! Wow, I guess you're not a sourpuss after all! You're a lemon! <laughs> <laughs> Here, have these presents as a way of me to say sorry. <laughs> Sorry that you're so gullible! <laughs> yeah, but seriously, have some of this. I promise it's just normal cake. <laughs> you can't see it, but the script says blow several times. That's the Kevin I know. Wow, even a baby could blow out these candles! <laughs> Oh well, I guess it is a challenge for someone with a beak. It is my job to be racist, General Vietness. And man. <sighs> hey, Kevin, are you alright? We can go if you want to. Nah, bro. It's okay, dude. I can handle it, bro. Really, dude, bro. Come on, dude, bro. Really, dude. Okay, let's get this party started with a game of Pin the Tail on the Pony. That's it. Keep going in that direction. Bruh. Um, Kevin, we're playing pin the tail on the pony, not pin the tail on the donkey! <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, enough! That's it! Why would you do this to me, dude? And on my birthday, nonetheless? What have I ever done to you, dude? Come on, ass! Bruh, I wanna go, bro! Sure, buddy. Right behind you. But before we go... Let me deal with them for you. What the heck, Nessie, was that all about? Well, to be completely honest, I suspect Kevin of being someone I thought I hid in the war a long time ago. Are you kidding me? Is that your reason to harass my best friend? You know what, Nessie? When we were kids, Kevin had been bullied a lot at school. I was the only one who was there for him. They did terrible things to him each and every day. But by far the worst thing that had ever happened to him was on his 10th birthday when he got to school in the morning and everyone in his class had teamed up to give him an extra hard time. And yes, I know I just said hard, but you know what? I don't care. So now tell me this, General. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, it should. Because that's exactly what you guys are doing right now! Rainbow, I... Let's go, Kevin. I'm sick of these guys. And I'm sorry you had to go through this. It's all my fault. Wait! I'm sorry, Kevin. I really didn't know all of that. I guess, if Rainbow has meant so much to you, who am I to stand between you guys? Who cares if you ever did or did not fight in a war? I mean, really, who hasn't nowadays? What matters is that you're Rainbow Ass's best friend. And maybe we're not too different, you and I. We both appear to wear quite the scars from the battlefield that is life. Just like you, Slave, I can't believe you were actually right about something. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I hope you can forgive me. We can try and help each other overcome our fears and get past them by growing as people and eventually learning to let them go. That being said, I want you to join my army. It's my army! Bruh, for real, dude? For real, dude. And I want to apologize to you too, Rainbow S. Mm, well, alright. Kevin seems to forgive you. Then I will too. So, apology accepted, ass? Yeah, apology accepted, ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, dude.
You see, because my name is S and... Well, anyway, I'll get us all some cake. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Hurt, Kevin. Roll credits!